Hello, my name is Pedro and I've been trying to put uh, to work this uh, small controller, uh, CC3D Atom. And I would like to put it to work for a plane uh, using CleanFly software. I have been able to upload the software with uh, some minor tricks and we might come to that later on. But now I would like to report some uh, malfunction um, that I've been finding. Let me just show you what uh, we have as a result of uh, the radio input to the output of this controller. So now we have a uh, radio with the uh, five channels configured. Throttle is mode 2, so throttle would be this one, this would be uh, the yaw, the pitch and roll, and we have a uh, mode selection switch with three modes. And these are coming out from channel 1, 2, 3 and 4, and then channel 5. They are being received and in, in the injected correctly into the Atom uh, controller. And now we have here the output. I've been feeding 5 volts uh, and I've been measuring what is coming out. Once I have it configured clean fly for an airplane. As we can now see, I'll be moving my throttle and we can see motor 1 uh, should raise and lower. So we should have an output for motor. Another one for the servos will move. If I move the rudder, I have servo 3 coming up and down. Then we have the pitch. We have servo 2 that should match the pitch. And now uh, we'll try the roll, which is coming from servo 4 and 5. But actually, how does these motors and servos map to the output from 1 to 6 and what I could find out is that on output number 1 let me place my oscilloscope here I try to stabilize my camera so we might eventually see everything on the screen. I hope so. So, on uh, output number one, I can read in my oscilloscope a uh, PWM uh, uh, signal and we can check that with my radio I can move motor one and we can actually see that is really moving PWM si signal. So this would be the motor, that is nice. On output number 2, I also see a PWM signal, yet there is nothing I can move on my controller that would make this output move. Yet, they are moving on the software monitor, but not in the output that I'm reading here. So I do have an output on output number 2, a PWM output, yet it's not moving, it's not related to any of these. So let's move on for number 3. We also have a PWM output on pin number 3 and actually it matches the role. It moves on the software but it also expands in the hardware so output number three will be mapped to roll let's see number four number four is also moving according to the roll stick none of the other will influence number four and finally we have pin number five which has no output at all and number six also nothing so how is this servo output mapped 
to the physical outputs of the controller? That would be my question. Either we have a bug somewhere in the software, eventually related to this controller, CC3D Atom, or there should be some configuration that I could not yet find out. Hello, now we are repeating the same test, yet I am using uh, a Flip32 controller. So that's um, a Naze32 uh, clone. And what I actually have, it's the same setup. And um, I'm just going to connect to the PC. Now it should work. Okay. Let's see, it's working. So far so good. We can see this board is also uh, uploaded with CleanFly for a plane. And now we also have, let me arm. Now we have motor, the rudder, and we have the pitch, and we have the roll. Furthermore, we have a switch for selecting modes and we can now have a look on the output and I can see that on pin number one first of all we do have a PWM signal um, and it's high frequency so this is definitely for, for an NS and if I raise throttle sorry okay there we are if I raise throttle, we can eventually see that uh, the signal not only in the software is saying it's raising, but also in the hardware, we can see it's coming out. Now we have, so throttle is on pin number one, or put number one, which is okay. Then we have pin number two. We also have a high frequency PWM output and um, let me try to stabilize the signal and it's not moving at all with none of the sticks so number two is stable now we have number three it has a low frequency PWM so it's probably for a servo and we can see it's related to ailerons so the roll is moving uh, the hardware signal according to the software output now number four number four it's also related to um, to the roll so ailerons is also connected to number four now let me jump to number five if I can reach there I'm not sure I can no sorry let's move on to number six for the moment before I disconnect my power so number six I also have a PWM signal and we can see it's related to the elevator which is correct and according to the to the manual so number six is okay. I could bet that number five is also okay. Let me change the power pin to another place so that I can reach now pin number five. It's also coming out a PWM signal, low frequency, and actually I expected it to be 
No, it's not arm, so it's not working at all, right? Yeah, as I uh, rebooted the board, uh, it is not responding anymore, so we might need to disconnect here and connect again. Nope, not yet. No, okay. So let's see what's in number five output. Again, number five output does have a PWM signal yet, and yes, it is related to uh, yaw, which is correct. So, the ClintFly software, working on an ACE32 board, or actually a FLIT32 board, it's working fine. It's coming, the outputs are according to expectation. And yet, if we use um, CC3D Atom with the same software, same configuration, uh, the outputs are not correct. I also notice that uh, the output is steady on this one on the flip 32 especially on um, yaw no, not only on yaw but uh, also on ailerons ailerons they are steady they fluctuate a little bit around the value I set on the stick and when I do that on the CC3D it uh, shakes a lot it does have a lot of noise so I guess it's also some problem with the software let's see what the experts say about this <laughs> 